Uh, this is the demonstration video for lab one. We will uh, go through the result first. Going through the changes we made in file, in the in the code, um, test C is directly taken from the lab template. Uh, in user .h, we have the function prototypes for the functions defined in prod C. Uh, the interesting part is we used a uh, void pointer for the uh process information function. It's because the uh, the p info structure is defined in the user space, so so like uh we we don't have the uh structure here, so the void pointer is just defined like any type of pointer. Uh, we have two uh system call entries for the users. Uh, these are just uh some uh, function prototype for kernel related function. Uh, this is for a uh, helper function that we used for uh, page countings. In this file, we have the um, the page count, the count page a function to do the page counting. Basically, we made a copy of the linked list uh, and then iterate it, iterate through it. Uh, we define the system call numbers here. Uh, here we update the system call table, uh, and also made uh, some modification on the to record the system call. So uh, I placed the the incrementers in the very end because we don't want to uh include the current system call. So uh, I put it outside after the the uh, the if statement ended. In the part H, we add an additional field under the process structure to uh, keep track of the system call made by the current process. Uh, these are just two uh, system call functions. Uh, the first one checks if it's a valid integer, and the second one checks if it's a valid pointer. These are the two main kernel functions. Um, Interesting part is right here we have the external is because the total call was defined uh in the system call .c file. So in order to access it, we have to use the external. Uh to get the the uh, active process numbers, uh we will first iterate through the process table and check the uh check their states. Uh at the beginning we only included the running and the zombie states. Uh, because we didn't find the uh, the ready and the waiting states, but uh, after adding the sleeping and the runnable states, oh, well, they sort of working the same, I guess. Um, and also the number match the um the the number of active active states provided in the example, so we end up including them as well. Um, to get total call, uh, it is just um it was calculated in the system called C. Uh, and the count page is in the uh, KLR.C. So, and if it's uh, not 0, 1, 2, we just return that table. And for the uh, the process info function, we're taking a pointer, uh, we find the, the current process, uh, find the parent process, it just, because the, the parent, uh, and the PID of just two uh, fields under the, the process structure. So we just we can just directly find them. Um, to get the system call count for the current process, as I said, we added uh, additional field under the process. For the page usage be is because the, um, first of all, the size was an another field under the process, which we can directly count. Okay, we can directly find and the, the page size is, if we go to the uh, okay, I don't know, see, it says it's a, a this much big of a page. And also we can just directly use the page size. Uh, and we also need to check if there are leftovers. If there are, we just add a, we put, we need to put an additional page uh, for it. 
and then we use the the copy out function to uh get the data to the to the user space. Um, so the interesting part is right here is because we have three fields. So if if without the additions, they will be overwritten. So uh, so we just uh because it's three integers. Every time we just add uh the size of another integer to increment it. And uh, this is it for the demonstration.